Hey guys, this is Buckeye Prepping. Today I'd just like to add on to my other communications video. Uh, I'm going to give you something a little bit more up to speed for a portable unit that's lightweight, that may be bug out bag worthy. Um, this is a ICOM 92AD. Uh, this is a very nice unit that also I've got a speaker mic that is has a GPS sensor in it. Um, this unit is very very capable. Uh, has a lot of a lot of options. It has a digital side to it, which is very very interesting. That you can also you can use and set up your own network over a, a ham radio frequency with computers. It is uh, very very capable. It has a lot of good features. Uh, also very expensive. I think when I bought this brand new with the software, the radio itself was in the 550 range and the speaker mic is usually in the $200 range. So this was probably my first big purchase um, and towards leaning the idea of prepping and being prepared prepared for disasters. Um, this is a, again a very nice unit, has a lot of the capability, very lightweight. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit more features here in a second, so stick around. Okay, so first let's take a look at this speaker mic here that also has a GPS sensor on it. Um, this is very nice. It uh, has a very good uh, volume capability. It goes very loud, much louder than just the radio itself. Um, up top here you can see this is the GPS sensor. And here's the button just to turn it on and off. So you have individual control just for the sensor. Um, the nice thing of this, this sensor is uh, it gives you your GPS coordinates. Uh, it also allows you to trans transmit it over a, over the handbands on uh, a digital frequency um, that's only uh, ICOM privy, uh, ICOM exclusive. They have digital technology. Um, it's really nice if you have somebody else with another ICOM, you can actually translate GPS to each other with the compass and find each other. This is originally used are designed for uh, search and rescue teams uh, to make things much easier I could I could imagine to find each other or find other people also through a repeater system you could set up uh, a recording of where your GPS is and transfer it over to the internet so it's a good way you can have to find people uh, over the internet you could track people or you could send your signal and coordinates out to other people so they can follow you, say a loved one wanting to know where you're at around the country, around the world possibly. Um, very nice, very capable, it's fairly lightweight, has its own little clip on the back so you can clip to a shirt. It also swivels to any position that you like. Uh, very nice piece, uh, expensive again, it's around $200. But uh, I liked it because it had GPS quality capability and you can talk and you can hear so well out of the speaker it's very loud and uh, even in lots of background noise you can hear a lot what's going on okay next up we'll take a look at the radio itself okay here's the radio um, pretty nice uh, piece here uh, it's very complex all you have very little uh, buttons to use to access all the functions um, you can imagine the the booklet for this is about this thick. There's all kinds of things to use in here, all kinds of settings and different things you can do with it. Um, in the middle here is where the GPS mic hooks up. This lower knob is the volume. Up here is your frequency control. Um, this is your main band. You can choose between bands preset and variable. Um, this is a very nice unit that has that digital technology again. It's uh, incredible what you can do with a digital technology through these things. You can set up your own network with computers. It's, it's just amazing what you can do with this this kind of technology um, when you have no access to internet and uh, ICOM even makes another unit that you can actually stream uh, internet through a repeater back to your radio and then, then you can in turn hook up a, a router or your computer and use that for internet gateway. Very very impressive. It's very cool stuff especially if you're a techie kind of geeky guy like myself um, up here is the standard rubber ducky that comes with it uh, it's okay it doesn't do too bad not very good range out of it but what I do have I bought also is a folding I'm sorry a telescoping antenna as you can see this is a two meter half wave it's a very long piece let me back out kind of show you this is one meter in length 
Um, this adds a lot to your radio for the 2 meter band. Uh, this is just tuned just for the 2 meter band. Um, I know I've got about 30 to 50 miles uh, range out of this for 5 watts, which is the maximum transmit power. Um, very impressive. Uh, even across the city of Columbus with buildings and trees and valleys and hills that I can get all the way across Columbus no problem to a uh, repeater. So this is a nice little add-on. This costs in the $25 range with a, a mating connector here. Uh, very nice, very uh, inexpensive and very light. All, uh, so when you fold it back down, it'll, it functions just like the original rubber duck antenna so a very nice feature doesn't weigh very much I keep it with my keep it with my bag uh, all the time with this radio wherever this radio is at is where I keep this so I can go back and forth I like to use the rubber ducky in case it is wet out because both the radio and the speaker mic are both waterproof which is also another feature I think it's IPX7 which means it's a standard that allows it to go down to one meter in depth for 30 minutes I think so it is, uh, it'll definitely resist the occasional rain and downpour, but you can throw it, you know, into a small shallow lake and you'll be fine. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, a lot of great features, another possibility, something I like to do uh, for fun and keeping an eye out what's going on. I use it mostly for weather radio, find out when bad weather's coming. Also, I like to hear the storm spotters, so you know what's going on right as it happens. You don't have to wait for a weather report. You get to hear it live. Um, many things you can do with this. You can actually listen to TV channels, audio. Um, this one that covers receive, all of the, almost all the receive band you can possibly listen to. So you can get channels from all across the world to your local TV station. Um, very nice unit. Great place to start, I thought. Uh, pr kind of pricey in the $550, $600 range, but I think it was well worth it. Um, I've enjoyed it a lot. It's done a lot of things for me, and uh, I uh, I haven't seen anything better that I thought that I thought was the best compilation of all the features that I really wanted. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this. Uh, interested to find out what you guys think, uh, what you guys are you doing for uh, communications. Uh, oh, one last thing I forgot to tell you. I have modified this so that it will transmit on FRS like the little two meter or I'm sorry the two mile walkie talkies because this is it's usually blocked off on these units and this also talks um, from the full 140 to oh, I think 200 megahertz range so above the two meter band which is using the police band so uh, it's a nice little feature that I can transmit if I had to in emergency according to the FCC anything is basically uh, fair game for an emergency, you can any band, any power. So it's kind of nice to have that capability, but you do have to be careful because it is illegal to transmit on those frequencies. So just a nice little feature that I have in case I have a very bad situation I need to get a hold of, or in the SHTF situation, uh, maybe you don't have to worry about legal authorities in that type of realm. So, okay, thanks for watching.